How's everyone doing today? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. What's your outfit of the day? I would like to know. Is anyone really putting in that much effort? I would like to know who out there is actually wearing jeans while we are in this quarantine. I have been wearing sweatpants every single day and today is no different day. The reason for this video is not only to just hang out, chit chat, try to kill some time, but also to show you guys how I blow dry my hair. This is a new way that I've been blow drying my hair lately that gives you lots of body. And uh, I've been using the Dyson, which I've done a video using the Dyson before, but it was really like my first review. And now that I've got to know the Dyson, I understand more of the attachments and blown away by the fact that they actually work on my hair texture because I actually started messing around with all the attachments because I saw Mariana Hewitt's IG stories and she was using it. And I was like, I always wondered what these were for. I just didn't understand them really. And I also thought, are they really gonna work with my hair texture? Because my hair is like frizzy. I need to like give it a round brush blowout. Like I'm over here working, okay? Working to blow dry my hair. So I figured there's no way that this is gonna work with my hair with no round brush. Pleasantly surprised that it does. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. But my hair is pretty damp right now. Usually I kind of like for it to be a little bit more air dried because if you try to blow dry your hair with this little thing the whole time, it's just gonna take a long time, especially if you have thicker hair than me, which might be a lot of you because I don't really have that much hair, okay? I haven't used these two attachments yet. Which one should I use? The one on the right. That was my instinct too. Quiche, thank you. We have Kishandra behind the camera, driving me crazy per usual during this time, stealing all my food. Uh, keeping her entertained. <laughs> I take food as compensation. <laughs> I wish that's all you took. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we're all going a little crazy over here, honestly. My mom in particular, right, Marky? Oh my God, she wouldn't stop laughing. She's last lost night. it. She, she lost has it. lost it. She was laughing last night, and I was like, "Have you been drinking wine without telling me, like without me?" I she seemed. She was, about to have an asthma attack she was crying, laughing for nothing. So I'm gonna use this uh, brush attachment that we have on my hand. I'm just gonna kind of roughly give myself a little bit more of a rough blowout here, as you can see, all my broken hairs. I've kind of learned my lesson from putting my hair back so tight, I'm breaking my hair. I have extensions too. I have the keratin tip. A lot of people ask, you see? I don't even look at them right now. They're like dreading. I need to go, but you know. You can't. I can't. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Given a little bit of a rough dry, so now it's not socking, socking, sopping, wet, soaking. Soaking. So I was uh, originally using this round brush attachment to blow up my hair, but now I'm just using these. My hair looks like, like you know, when it's bouncy and it's just fluffy. It looks amazing. So there's these two attachments. One of them means you want to blow dry your hair inwards and the other one is more like away from the face. That's what they mean. I kind of just have to figure it out. You'll know which one is right if you do have this because the air will go against the direction you're trying to go in if you're using the wrong one. So I usually like to curl everything inwards like this, like blow dry it in so that it has that full bouncy look. And then sometimes with the front pieces, I'll go away from my face depending on how my hair is reacting. It's, it's unpredictable, but I will see what happens when I get there. I'm gonna start with one little piece down here. Little clip, this one's from Kendra's Boutique. They sell like really nice wigs. So let me show you. I will know right away if this is the wrong direction. If it doesn't, the right direction. If it was the wrong direction, the hair would be blowing and not sticking to this. So all I'm gonna do is take it from the root to the end and wrap it as if it was like a curling iron. Bit. Scroll on your phone. Watch TikTok for like a little bit. Answer some emails. Make sure you're double tapping all your friends' photos. Ooh, bitch. Look at that. Do you see this? This is so bouncy, okay? Pantene Pro V Who? You know those commercials you always wonder? You guys, shook. I'm so shook. I can't believe I haven't used these attachments. I feel like this lasts a while, okay? And what I love about it is my arms aren't tired. I can just hold it. This isn't sponsored, by the way. Holler at me though, you know what I mean? I'm not, no. <laughs> 
this is just great, you guys. If you have tried to give yourself a blow and it's annoying, this is so nice because I literally sit there and blow dry my hair with this and watch Netflix and just chill. Like I'm watching Love Island right now and it, it's, it's not exhausting. It's like very satisfying too. Like I love doing it because I love seeing what it's gonna look like at the end. Basically, I'm just gonna keep doing the same exact thing with the bottom layer. I'm just gonna keep curling inwards. I don't need it to be like pageant girl or like too curly. I like more of a soft wave. So once it sits for a little bit or right away, it just depends on how I'm feeling. I just kind of brush it out. So it's soft. Oh yes. We have this side done. Now we do this side and it's pretty quick, you guys. I mean, I have all this extension hair in my head. For some reason, it takes a little bit longer to dry than like normal hair. Moving on to the top section. I probably should have air dried this too a little bit, huh? Before I started. I just air dried the bottom, didn't I? <sighs> Marky. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out here together. Think about this now, a little air dried there. Start on this side. Nope. It's an interesting way that I clipped it, but here we are, we're gonna go with it. Oh, you see that? Very Cindy Crawford. Let's just do this piece first. So we're closer to the front now. I still am gonna keep going under. Sometimes I like using these little hair clips. If you have baby hairs that you're trying to kind of tame, you want them to lay a certain way. Okay, nice. Working my way back. What shows are you guys watching right now? I feel like I've seen it all. I'm watching Love Island season six, UK. I've only watched UK, I haven't watched any of the other ones. We're almost getting to the end. It's crazy because the top of your hair is like the most important part, right? Because that's what people see. But like, why is it that every time I do my hair, when I get to the top, it's, I'm the most lazy at that point? Like I'm over it by the time I get to the top and I do the least. Is anyone else like that? Like, by the time I get up there, I'm like, I'm done. So I'm just gonna take a small section here, closest to the hairline, because this is where my hair gets curlier than usual. The reason it didn't dry that curly today is because I used like a boar brush to brush the top so that it wouldn't get super wavy on my hairline. But if I don't do that, my hairline gets very wavy. See how frizzy my hair can dry if I just let it air dry back there compared to how like shiny this makes it look? Like that kind of shakes me. This is frizzy. For my extensions, I don't like to just do like this by itself. I like to mix it with a little bit of the long extension because I want it to look like all one piece. You know what I'm gonna do as a workout today? What? I'm gonna make mom and I learn a TikTok dance. <laughs> she goes, oh, let's do a TikTok dance. And I'm like, mom, I don't even think I could do it. But I just, <laughs> she wants to learn. I'm just gonna keep going in, so. So now we have the final piece. So obviously my bangs are be important, so let's do those first before they get any more frizzy. Do we call them bangs or do we call them broken hairs? I don't know. It's not even chemical. I think it's from me like put my hair back so tight all the time. I'm going under. Let's see how this is looking. Sick. It's kind of cute. Wow, you look so beautiful. I feel like Belle. Like a little bit of a Disney hair moment. See, and then I kind of push them back like that. I kind of like this look. We're gonna just see how it goes from here. If you want them to go down and away, then you would switch to the other direction. But I kind of like the luminous type of look. All right, let's do this. We gotta brush it out. Don't want it 
it to be super curly, just, you know, a good bounce. And I like to curl, I mean, I like to brush it out inwards. And then you could look around, see what you need to fix. I kind of just fluff it up, brush through it. You can put some product in it and your hair will be like bouncy and voluminous. Pull it back. Could do one of these moments. I mean, I can't because of my extensions, but you can. When I do hairstyles like this, and I don't want my extensions to show here, I have a spray. It's called Rita Hazan, and there's different colors. I could spray all these the same color as my roots so you don't see them anymore. So that's usually what I do when I wanna like have a side part like this. Ooh, that looks so good. This is pretty much it, guys. Nice, voluminous blowout using the Dyson. It's really like a curling iron, a blow dryer. So many different things in one, so I like it for that, and I don't know what kind of magic is in this to where it smooths out my hair with just this little thing. Like, I just didn't think that was even possible, but it does a really good job. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's pretty much it. I'll see you every day <laughs> on IG stories. <laughs> Come say hello. Love you guys, bye. We're rolling. Are we rolling? Yes. Mom. Are we rolling? Mom? Ooh, mom's here with some snacks. Look at this. Do you see this, guys? The frizziness, I can't. Oh, the core strength.